I'm current, not yet. I'm currently looking for my next game mode. Well, this is a good one, dude. I'm having a blast with this one. Dude, where is this? Whoa. We have to go through like the whole, what is this? The bad, are these quests? This must be quests. Level four, that's like our level. A suspicious looking man needs someone to help him do a favor. Oh, look at this. It tracks all the missions we haven't done. Strengthen your bond with the Yamashita area. Here. Oh. Oh. We need to go there. What is this? Official? Oh, get the... One second. This is important. Deals elemental damage to nearby enemies when inflicting a status ailment upon enemy with an elemental attack. Drop rate medicinal pills up. Dude, incredible. Give me that. Yo. And we got it. Oh, hell yeah. And we look badass. Cool. Uh, still nothing here. We'll keep that on. And then we got a new item. Let's see what that is. We go here. Give to somebody to significantly deepen your mutual bond regardless of their taste and gifts. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh... Oh God. <clears throat> we lived! I love it. Okay, well. It was a pretty uh pretty high drop too. We're going to two first. I love that it puts a little number next to him. It's so convenient. What's our strongest weapon currently? Is it still that Odachi? Oh, but I don't have, I don't have the new um, style for that one. Unfortunately. We're gonna stick with the sword for now, I think. So we somehow have to get on this building. Oh, is that an orange? Yeah, it is. Oh. Great. Dude, there's so much good loot around. Hell yeah, man. So I feel like there's not a lot of, of like, optional stuff to do around the city. 
but the stuff you do find seems to be very meaningful, which is cool. I can get it. No. Oh, he almost looks like an Abyssinian. Cool. I feel like this game needs an Assassin's Creed style, like, A stack thing. I, I'm not really sure how the game. Oh, wait. I was about to say, I don't really understand how the game expects us to get down. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. He forgot he had a glider? He did. The glider's not very good on it. It kind of angles down by default. So, like, this is as up as we can go. See how, much, see how like, its default is super down, which kind of stinks. Oh, that's a neat trick. And we got level two. So now that we've done some of the stuff in this area, I think we've not only added stuff to our map, but we may have also increased the, uh, the level of the area enough to get the quest. Cool. What is this? Horse rescue. I don't know what that is. All right, let's go here first. Is this open? Do we get like any? Oh, look at this guy. Regime ruler, Mary Rhodes. I wonder what that is. Now, while we're here, let's take a quick look at this horse rescue. See what happens. How far am I into the game? Uh, I'm a few hours in, but I am not exactly rushing the main story. 
I'm definitely kind of just exploring the game and taking it slow. Yeah. Would you say this feels like a Japanese RDR2? No. No, I wouldn't. I would say it's a it's an open a semi-open world take on what a Neo Sekiro hybrid would look like in the feudal Japanese era. That's what I would say this game is. It's 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 uh, kind of a neo itemization and level design. There's definitely some Sekiro influence in like the parry system and how important that is. And then the semi-open world feel is definitely a little new for this, but it, it feels good. It feels good. So, yeah, overall really digging it. Man. Where is this horse thing? Damn it! Of all the horses to get stolen, it had to be that one. Hi. Hey, can you help me? Someone's pilfered my horse. How is he getting RDR2 vibes from this? Oh, I can completely see. Like, there there are there are aspects of this game like RDR2. I'm just saying it plays more like the others. But like walking through the town like we are now, that that's very RDR2. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, that, that stuff is cool. What's so special about this horse? It's a white horse with a gorgeous coat. Damn it! I had a buyer lined up and all. Please, friend, you have to help me. You can bring it back, can't you? Sure. The thief went off toward the checkpoint, but I don't know their exact location. Hey, Dan Valley, good morning. It'll be sold off if you don't hurry. Please, <clears throat> bring it back to the stable as soon as you can. I'll give you good reward, I promise. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this now because he's alluded a couple times to the fact that there might be a like some kind of time limit with this. Um. Oh. Keep in mind, I didn't know that man. He didn't attack me. He was just chilling on the road. And I was like, you know what would look good on that guy? Murder. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Monsha Giners. How have you been, buddy? Hello, hello. Oh, I just realized we're getting what level are we now? There was some stuff that we had to walk by earlier in the game because we were level uh we weren't high enough level to do it. I wonder if we're getting close enough to where we can go back now. Is that some kind of aggressive? Oh, dancing drunkard. Okay, okay. No, I, I see what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Eavesdrop on the horse thief. I just want to fight. Them. That's one thing I will say. I love the combat in this game. It feels good. Where are the rest of the horse thieves, man? Am I supposed to kill some people before I go in? 
I don't think so. How am I getting up there, chat? Uh, there's got to be a pull-up somewhere, right? Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Go! Drink something! I see. Yeah, I wish they showed the icon at, at when you're far away, just grayed out. It's a little weird that they make the decision just to not show the icon if you're not in range. It's not normal for these types of games. It's a little different. They do, however, make it very obvious where the spots are. So when you start knowing what to look for, like that right there, it's a little more obvious. Is there anything else here? But you know what we need? What we need is they need to just put yellow paint arrows everywhere. I feel like that would be a, a good compromise. I think gamers love that. <laughs> Didn't even suspect the horse was stolen. How dim can that dealer be? I'll bet he's still in the same spot with that stupid grin on his face. After a drink, maybe I'll go back and take him for everything. That's not even a sword. That's like a that's like a sharpened two by four. What is even happening? Oh my god, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Requirements for learning combat styles can be viewed from the menu combat styles screen. Okay. That's new. I or not new, but new new for us. Where's the great sword? Oh. oh we gotta try this, obviously. Great swords make up for the slow attack speed by dealing the greatest damage in a single blow among primary weapons. <laughs> Right here we go. 
Let's go outside first. No loot in here? I guess not. Can we go outside from inside, or do we have to go out the way we came in? Can we open this door? This looks openable. No? Really? Okay, so here we go. This is our Mumio Ryu stance. We've got square. Cool. Triangle. All right, pretty good. Then we've got our Hoshin Ryu stance. Square. Oh, interesting. The square is just like a little kick, but it's quick. I wonder if that like stuns or something. Throw a kick. Use the impact to propel yourself into the air. Press the button in mid-air to perform a rising slash with your sword. Oh. That's cool. Okay. And then we've got triangle. Here we go. Oh, it catapults us into the air, and then we can do another attack down. Square. If you don't hit square, though, it doesn't do the attack. And then here it is with square. Ooh. Now, wait, can we do this into the other one? No. That'd be kind of wild if we could. So if we could do like a down, if we could go, do like an up slash and then into the air slash and then like a down hit. Oh, that'd be crazy. Now we just need to slot a couple materia into that sword. Now you're talking. That's right. All right, so we're gonna try this out and see how we like it. I still want to get a good pair. I, I just want to get any good fast weapon. We haven't gotten a single good fast weapon this game yet. And I'm very interested in doing that. I want to see what like, the quick style combat in this game looks like. Do you have any oxtail blades yet? No, nothing good. I don't have any good, um, I've got like an okay katana, but I don't have any good sabers, no good oxtails, and no good dual swords. Nope. Nothing good Welcome, yet. welcome. I'm about to pack up for the day, but if you like anything you see, don't hesitate to pipe up. Any horses you bought recently? The white one with the handsome coat is my most recent find. It won't come cheap, but it'll be worth it, I assure you. Interested? How about it then? Fancy taking the white one off my hands? It'll make a truly excellent steed, I guarantee. Oh, I have to think about it. I see. Damn, dude. Okay, how do we get these special points? The intellect points required to learn some skills are chiefly gained from personal bonds, photography rewards. Oh. Learning a certain number of skills will increase your core intellect stat as well as your infliction and adaptability stats. Okay. I want this. Let's just get some skills real quick and see if we can maybe get one. I don't really want any range stuff. You want that though. Okay. Let's see. Yes. I want all the loot stuff as fast as possible. All the loot. Um, 
Yes, enables your al an ally to follow up your critical hit with an additional critical hit. Yes. Sure. All right, we have one skill point left. Um... I mean, we don't do a lot of underwater stuff, but I feel like that would be good to have. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're spent. I'm just going to buy the horse because I'm going to make so much money in this game anyway. <laughs> I'm going to make so much money. Thanks. Sold. You won't regret it. Can I fast travel on a horse? Is that a thing? Oh. I did hear a cat. Do 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 pets for cat. Oh, it's little void cat. Oh, what a cutie. All right, let's go. L2 and auto run point on the map. I haven't tried this yet. So I do this. Place marker. And then I just do... How do I how do I make him do it? Oh, do I have to do I have to do it on the map? Hold on. Open sub menu. Set auto run destination. I'll get you later, I guess. Fine. All right. Go. <sighs> I love this auto run. This is really cool. It even auto loops if you run by stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Just looting all the things. I think I'm not going to ride through here and get my stuff. Come on now. can set auto loot on foot too. Oh, I already have. Yeah, dude, the whole reason this is auto looting is because I have it turned on. Yeah. Hi. I owe you. Here, I want you to have this special attack. It'll look good on your horse. I guarantee it. Cool. Thanks, dude. Heck yeah. You've obtained military tax. Ooh. Karma converted. Level 7 height. Go ahead and raise this so we can fast travel here in the future if we want to. Oh. Horseback archery? I think on foot archery is already scary. How are you gonna do horseback archery? 
don't know about this. What is this game? Uh, awesome. Yeah, I think this game is a great example of a game that, like, got completely overshadowed by its release date. I feel like if this game were to come out right now, when there's no other games around, I feel like we'd be talking about this game a lot more. This goes to show you how important that release date can be. Yeah, these slow weapons are just, they, they feel, they don't, they don't feel great. 